it is the middle of winter. I think it's actually sub-zero. I believe it's minus one right now. The ground is frozen solid. The greens are concrete. And my hands, I can't feel them. But we're here to play and we're here to break 40. I'm on that, on that road to single figures and that is hopefully what YouTube is going to help me do by recording my progress, posting it, getting help from, from, from comments and subscribers and all the rest of it. And yeah, let's just see how it goes. So, hope you enjoy guys. Um, like I say, brand new channel, so like, comment, subscribe. Please enjoy the video. to the pin so not too bad at all um, not a bad drive off the first there I think I'm gonna hit 50 degree aim for it to pitch short this is that it's rock solid yeah so the greens are gonna be bouncy it's gonna be impossible to get any spin or anything like that so I'm gonna hit a 50 degree wedge play it about 90 yards hopefully it rolls bounces once rolls and gets close up next to the pin Basically, I've done what I wanted, but just a little bit right. Should be all right, should be about 15 feet, 20 feet to the bar. It's, a, it's enough birdie chance, we're on a green. Got a nice green and red, fairway hit, green and red on the first. Got to gauge these greens. Pushed it again. Incredible. Incredible free part on the first. That's a bogey. You can take the positives from that hole. It was uh, yeah, not amazing putting display, but got on the fairway, got on the green in regulation. Free wood. Look at that, that is incredible. Straight down the middle, I've heard that bounce. That one, that is right down the middle of the fairway. That'll be bounding down there. That is a comeback after a stupid bogey. Shots like that are genuinely what golf is all about, in my opinion. And I've absolutely striped that free wood. That has seriously gone a mile. I reckon that's gone about 270, 280 from the tee, which for me is an incredible free wood, to be honest. 160 to the pin. Just need to get on the green. That's that's what I'm talking about here. Nice simple shot. It's not really moved left on me, but is that enough? I don't think it is. Nowhere near enough. <laughs> I, I hope the camera's seen that. On any other day other than this freezing cold weather today, that is nowhere near enough. That's bounced. That's bounced in that little crevice in the rough and some have gone to the back of the green. So it's lucky because of the frozenness, but I've got way of one there. So it's a downhiller, right to left slider, anywhere short of the pin, and I'm pretty happy. And I am prone to absolutely rocketing the, the, the putts as well, so. It's absolutely being pulled. Well, that's just the break to be fair, but the putting, I mean, you can half blame the conditions, but even so, I don't think the conditions has anything to do with the break, so. My fault, nothing really that can be said or done about that. How has that gone that way? Two bogeys then. Two bogeys, two three putts. I actually wish that I could blame the weather, but I can't because the weather's actually helped me. The weather's helped me on that hole. I've pitched it too short. It's rolled onto the green. And the green is too bad, too bad putts to be honest. Two bogeys, two over, breaking 40. Still on the cards, but I've made it half myself. A couple of pars, maybe a birdie on this hole, and everything switches round. So let's, we get up to a good start here on this hole. It's uh, par five now. Kind of, it goes up and round. 
Just give it a go. Leaky, but should be fine. Yeah, it's a bit right, but we're in play. From experience, I know I'm miles away. I'm probably about 310, 320 away, so there's no point going for it. We'll be hitting a six iron to get it back in play, closer to the hole. That's the end of the game, isn't it? Closer to the hole. That's what I'm gonna do. Get the ball closer to the hole. That's what I like to call sensible golf. I think this is the right play. I've now probably got a little flick on, maybe 50 yards. Don't know what these greens are doing, but we've got a better opportunity now to get par, if not birdies. That is the best bounce I've ever got. That is one of the best, most friendliest members bounces I've ever had in my life. It was moving right, now this pitch shot that, I, that I've kind of incorporated, it should always go dead straight. So I don't know what happened there, it should always go dead straight. Never ever deviate from the line. It was moving right, but I just got a lovely bounce. And now I'm hopefully about three feet, or maybe a little bit more, for the bird. So, it's not quite three feet, that has rolled on a lot. Bearing in mind it pitched short with the green. But we already knew this, so again, can't blame the conditions when you're accounting for it in your shot. That was a good part. I should have played it straight though, because I've moved it to the right edge and that's happened. But there's the first par of the day. Should be three in a row really, but there's your first par, two over round three. One five two to the pin, downhill probably about 10 yards. There's no wind, it's cold. One thirty shot to the left of the green. Hopefully they put a little bit of cut spin on it. Or I can just absolutely neck it. Somehow that's gonna work. No, it's not. Look at that. Just there, lovely jubbly. 54 in the door, let's. Let's just, let's just get up and down. Come on, we can do it. That's just scooting straight off. I hope that that's being caught on camera, because that is a joke. This is going to be a big score now. We're not in a good spot, look at that. Luckily though, 58 degrees back. I lost my 58 degree for about two weeks. I thought it was long gone, I thought someone robbed it. I usually leave clubs accidentally, forget the clubs, have random poles and stuff. Two weeks it was gone. And then Whitehill called me up and they said, you're looking for a 58 degree, Jaws Raw, MB5? Yes, I am. So, shout out to Whitehill Golf Course, because that's class. Got it back, actually bought it, got it back today. That's come out pretty decently. Ball a little bit to the right. Yes, that's huge, that is huge. That is honestly huge that part, because that is three over and four now, um, which doesn't sound good. It sounds awful to be honest, but it gives me hope. So let's just get a birdie on these next couple of holes and finish the round under. It's a par 36 on the front nine, so 39 is what I need to break 40. Let's, fuck me, I can't get these. Genuinely. I don't know what to do in this situation. Snapped it in half, which actually might help. 
Well, that was eventful, but that's the best I can get it. Babe, it's moving. But how much? Not enough. Let's just hope it's out of the bunkers. That was absolutely striped. I really have got my work cut out of me for par now but this is rock solid sand so I'm going to play this kind of like it's a mat you know like a driving range mat so I'm going to basically just try clipping it I might be completely wrong here and I most likely am because in the best of times I've got no idea what I'm doing here but I'm going to hit 58 basically like a pit shot open it up a little bit but all the weight on my left side open the face up a little bit and just clip it basically you need to get the ball first like it's a mat that was almost perfect obviously I did hit the before the ball but that was almost perfect anywhere close and roll wow look at that bounce go in then go in yeah. Oh, I love winter greens. Excellent chip in there. Absolutely perfect. Yes, that's how you make a par. Simple. You aim too far left and you don't cut the drive back round. You then get a lucky break just in that little bunker cluster. Then you try hitting a brand new shot that you've never done before. The pit shot out of the sun, out of the sand, which bounce off this rock solid green. And then what you do is you hit a lovely little 58 degree wedge that I, up until today, didn't have any more. Bounce it off what I would consider concrete and roll it straight into the hole. That's perfect. Par, break 40 is still on. Don't ask me how, but break 40 is still on. That's bogey first, bogey second, par third, bogey fourth, par fifth somehow. So. We're still very much on, now it's a short path five, I think it's about 460 yards, so very, very gettable. That's absolutely gonna work. Wow, winter golf that's fine as this. Slipping and sliding and chipping in, probably 190 from the pin. I'm gonna take six though because everything's bouncing, so if I can get six down there, like I say, it's path five, so if it's flick on, don't mind. Short is your friend, long is dead. So, let's hit the six, it's gonna move left on me. It's thin. I can never hit this second shot good. I can never hit the second shot on this par five good, but it's down there. It's nowhere near the green, but it's down there. Yeah, I've got a good chance here to get up and down for the bird. And if I do that, that's two over, round six. And the back three on the front nine, they're not impossible holes, it's just the two par fours and a par three, so it is well on. The game is afoot, and I don't know who's winning right now, but it's me versus the course. I think it's 50-50 to be honest. 54 in the door, like I say, I haven't had a 58 degree for the last two weeks, or three weeks, or even longer, I don't think, so I've been practicing getting within 50-60 yards, 54 only. So this, I'd say, is around a 50-60 yard shot but we know what these greens are like, so I'm gonna hit 40 yards, literally. Um, and if the ball finishes below the hole, or short of the hole, closer to me than, than past the hole, that's, that's an excellent shot. Roll. Oh, that's rolling. Now stop. I don't mind that. I don't mind that one bit. Move a bit, move a bit more left than I wanted it to, but I don't mind that one bit birdie chance i think it's basically dead straight i'm going to play it straight and if it goes left or right tapping par is never a bad bad thing get it there i've said get it there ah <sighs> one birdie please one birdie is all i need seven sun is getting real low so we need to blast through these last three straight away far four
got away with one there. It must have, honestly, it must have gone up there and just rolled down because of this icy, this icy ground. So, you know, got to take the rough with the smooth. 155 to the flag. It's freezing cold, but it's going to roll if it gets there. So tough. I think I'm going to hit soft eight. Yeah. My eight iron goes 155, but it's slightly up the hill and it's freezing cold. If I hit a soft one and it just lands on the front of the green, it will roll. That's my that's my thinking anyway. And if it goes long, I'm really not that bothered. Wow. I hope you can hear that. That is um it's literally like hitting a fucking concrete. That one didn't. Oh wow. That took, that's two members bounces I've had today. Okay, that's not landed on the green like I thought, but that was very optimistic to think so. It has, however, almost got there, which I'm pretty happy with, because like I say, it was up there. Give yourself a chance for the old birdie. I've chipped in once before, why can't I do it again? Right idea, it's just not moved. That's two, that's two pars I shouldn't have made, but I have. That's an up and down again. Um, yes, I don't sink putts like that often. So when I do, I love it. The finish line is in sight now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good that I'm free over around seven. Obviously, I've, I've had to save a few pars, which isn't the best, but that's what golf's about, you know, rescuing yourself, getting yourself out of danger. So, yeah, got to be happy with it. I've got two to go, so can't really call it too early because one, literally one bogey throws it all away. So, let's see how it goes on these last two. Into the fairway, fairway finder, and let the golf do the talking, I think, on this half. Right. I was going to talk to it, I was even going to shout four, but there's no one here and it weren't going to listen to me. So let's see, let's see what we can do. So I heard it hit a tree, clearly that one has just dropped down. Somehow we've avoided all the danger. So I think the golfing gods, the golfing gods want me to break 40 on my first go, clearly. So I will give them what they require. I'm going to hit eight iron because I don't want to be long. I, I potentially hit seven. This feels like longer than an eight iron, but I'm going to hit eight. Short is great. Short and right is great. You've got all the green to work with. Be the number. I can't see it. I'm blind. So it was short. It was definitely short, but that is the. I played for this. There's an opportunity here. I'm going to hit 54 in the door. Just get this close, get a par, walk away. Oh wow, look at that. It's over. You see that? It's over. I hit that shot so nice. This is now an impossible shot. So basically, break 40 off the cards I, I spoke too soon and I've been made to pay. Now it's 58, trusty 58. Got to open it up here. Always going to happen. Always going to happen. I've thrown it away. Absolutely thrown it away. Let's get this in for the, for the bogey, for a laugh. Just like that. Just like that. Nothing I can do or say about that. Nothing I can do or say. Let's just finish the round now. I have, yeah, I've thrown it away. It's a double bogey. But I've got that in me. I've really got that in me. So five over now. Hole in one, breaks 40. So let's see what we can do here. I've got six iron. 
playing that cut that I've been playing all day. I can't even see the pin, it's dark. I hope you can see it. If I can get up and down, finish strong, finish strong on a par. That'd be excellent to see. Try pitching this just onto the upslope and it should just kill it. Let's see if I can do it. It killed it, but just move left. Average shot for an average guy. I'm a little bit of a Debbie Downer right now based on the eighth, but you shouldn't think about the past. You should only worry about what's in front of you. So let's sink this part, let's finish on the high. That's a good effort. That's a good effort. Bogey. And that, lead, that finished me on a 43, I think. Not the best way to finish, but 43, that's what one hole can do to you. But hope you enjoyed, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. This, is, this, this channel is all about my progress, really, and how I can get better. So if you've got any tips, anything like that, then please let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys, and see you on the next one.